I believe in you. You know what the fuck type of stacking is this? Hi, I'm Nisha. I'm the owner and creator of our soap company. And today I'm taking guys on a journey with me to my first festival, carnival, event, whatever you want to call it. This is my first festival and I am a vendor at the Watermelon Carnival in Water Valley, Mississippi. And this being my first festival, I was definitely not as prepared as I should have been. And I want to record a lot more than just having an already set up booth. I want to show you guys the night before the packing in the car and all that, but I just totally missed it because I was not prepared. And that's my friend Diamond. Shout out to Diamond for helping me at the festival. And we can't forget my market mom, Tammy. This is not my real mom, but if she was not there at the festival to help me, I would have had a heat stroke. She's a really sweet lady and she does have her own brand called Soul Healthy. She makes infused olive oils and seasonings. I'm not going to tell you guys about anything that I don't personally like. I really do like her brand. And I like her products. I'm going to leave her links to her socials and stuff in the description. And check her out and tell her that I sent you guys. So here's a look at the other vendors at the Watermelon Festival. It was a two-day festival, Friday and Saturday, and Friday was really um, bare, not gonna lie to you. There wasn't a lot of people on the first day, but uh, I just want to give you a good look at all the vendors that are here. I think it's best that I did this on the first day because once the second day, Saturday popped up, the place was completely crowded. It was hard to walk through, so this is when I first got there early in the morning. It really hasn't even started yet, and these are the other types of vendors that are there. But aside from the vendors, they did have a lot of cool events going on this day. Not Friday, but Friday and Saturday. They had the um, revealing of the watermelon queen. They had a watermelon drop. They had a bunch of rides for the kids and things you can, the things are in the mall that you bounce on with the hydraulics or whatever, you can wear the harness, that thing. I really wanted to do it, but um, yeah, I didn't, but I really want to do that. And then they had fireworks at the end. And the best part about that is I recorded none of it. That's fantastic. I was so busy. I didn't record any of that stuff that I meant to record. So next time I go to a festival, I might bring somebody whose job is just to record what we're doing, whoever I bring and who's helping me. So you can have a lot more footage to look at. But a lot of my footage is just showing off other vendors. And there were three other soap vendors, sorry, three other soap vendors, including me. But everybody was really friendly. There was no hostile energy or anything. And it was all around good vibes and a good two days. And if you guys didn't know, I do also crochet, and there are some really cool crochet vendors there. I bought stuff from everybody because I know crocheting takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, and I bought some really cool stuff on put on the picture of what I bought. I originally bought Bimo, but I totally missed the fact that she had Jake, so of course I had to go back and buy Jake. And I'm looking for a social, so hopefully you'll see her socials up on screen now, so you can also go check out some of the other stuff she makes. She made the cherries and somebody else made the heart, so hopefully I'll have everybody's socials up on screen. They also had lots of food there. I think there was also a barbecue contest that I totally missed because, like I said, the second day got so busy that, I mean, it's a good thing. The second day got so busy that I kind of didn't get to see other stuff, but um, I would like to come here as not a vendor and just experience the watermelon festival, but being a vendor was absolutely fantastic. And the funnel cakes were absolutely bust down. They were so freaking good. So if you go to this festival in Water Valley, Mississippi, get you a funnel cake. It was delicious, so delicious, so good get one. Like I said, this is a two-day event. Some vendors only showed up for Saturday when the most people came, but um, as a vendor, I still recommend sticking with both days and showing up both days because I still didn't make money on the first day. I just made most of my money on the second, but I still think it was worth coming for the first day. This is what I was talking about. I really should went on those on the first day because the second day I wanted to go, it was so crowded and that's my tent covered over there while I was walking around. I completely missed walking through a section of this, but over there it's my tent with little white windows. On this row was another soap maker who was actually right behind me, but she was really sweet and she helped me a lot and she gave me a lot of useful information. 
with um, soaps in general and just going to other festivals. did do a shit job of getting some of these people's names so i do apologize about that but this person had really cool 3d printed stuff he had dragons and dragon eggs and i think some of the stuff is from tv shows movies video games so if you recognize any stuff let me know but they were really cool and i don't have any of this person's socials but if i do find them at another festival or event i'll make sure to get their um information and i do plan on going to another festival very soon So this is me made it back to my booth i want to give you guys a better look of everything and this is how it's looking basically it's pretty simple a lot of soap i brought everything i had and a lot of this stuff sold pretty quickly everybody loved the lemon, lemon verbena and the watermelon soap and the oatmeal honey spay and tobacco didn't do as good as i thought it would but everything else did pretty well and for the first half of the festival this fan was broken and like we were confused how to put it together so we were really hot and here's Pimo. I hung those up on my car mirror and this area right here where I'm at is meant to be my checkout area and I have BMO for decoration. I put everybody up there when I went back and got Jake, I put it up for decoration too. But BMO, 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 BMO. Diamond's cousins didn't want to help at the booth so I let them help and set up. I have my um, business card set to his back because that's what he wanted. And he was just talking to folks, he's actually really helpful and a really good salesman. What can I bring folks in? And this is later towards the evening how everything's going how it filled up a little bit more this actually is the second day i didn't do too much filming like i wanted to but this is the second day and it's much more crowded and he's doing a good job getting people in men and women and kids and children kids and children are the same thing but you get the point and i got this big watermelon a huge piece it was free and it was delicious so this is definitely something i think you guys should come to like i said i miss recording a lot of stuff so this is pretty much what i have i'll do better at the next festival and I will link to everybody's social medias, all everything you can find, everybody in this video in the description. And I hope you guys do check it out and tell them I sent you. And have a good day. And this is what my outfit was like. I forgot to show you. This is what my outfit was like. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll do a better job recording next festival. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.